1915, a hoodoo priestess named Aunt Julia Brown sang a song, and her neighbors thought it was a curse. She threatened to take all the land with her when she died. So far, it seems like it's coming true. But was it a curse or just a coincidence? Or could it have been a profound warning from someone who could sense that there was trouble on the road ahead? But how could she know? And what is hoodoo, anyway? Just imagine being on a cotton field or on a plantation and being brutalized and your spouse and children being brutalized and the idea that a god or a power or a spirit can seek revenge on massa. It was the one thing that the enslaved African had that gave them power. Kudu originated in West Africa and adapted under the chains of slavery, whispered on ships and plantations. It manifested in the desperate desires of the powerless, stripped from their homes, lives shattered, brought to a hell they did not understand. Hoodoo is also called root work, using the power of tree roots to conjure spells, to heal, and even to curse. So tell me about root work. So at the root level of what root work and hoodoo is, it's about nature. And using nature, plants, mosses to heal, and then the supernatural aspects of it do carry from an ancient West African perspective that trees carry a spirit, wood carries a spirit, the ground that it grows in carries a spirit. Wow. So it's more than just healing, ingestion, right. using the botanical nature of what these plants are, uh, but there's that spirit power. There's definitely something out here with us. It's responding to the energy.